Alrighty, so I am in EO software and I'm creating a visualization of my stage. I just have a small stage and a person on it. And then I have lighting positions. So front of house is one through five and I just patched some color source bars. I have some side lights that are also color source bars, 11 through 15, 21 through 25, and then a backlight set 31 through 35. If we look at this magic sheet as well, it will show me all my position locations here as well so that you have an understanding of the type of rig that I'm working with. And I want to go over how do I control the color parameters on all these static LED fixtures. So one of the temptations that we might have to be able to control the color parameters of our LED fixtures is to use our faders and have those faders control the individual color parameters of those fixtures. And this has some historical context. Back in the day, we might've had dimmer channels that had tungsten lights that had color filters in front of them. And we might gel them with red, green, and blue filters, and then mix them by bringing up the channel faders. So I've mocked this up to show you how this used to work here. So I have nine PAR fixtures in this emulation. And I put some gels in front of them as well. So 101 plus 104 plus 107 in this example at full outputs red because even though I'm telling an intensity value, that intensity is coming through a color filter. So I have red output. So I might like this and I might say record sub one and then load it over on my first sub here. And then I might sneak those out, bring my fader up. And this is controlling the intensity of my dimmers and I'm seeing red outputting on the stage. So I'm gonna do that for my other fixtures here. 102 plus 105 plus 108 at full, it's my green. I'm gonna record sub two, load to here. Sneak enter, so I put the manual values away. Bring this fader up, it's outputting green. And then I might have 103 plus 106, plus 109 at full, blue, cord sub three, loaded to that. So these subs are only controlling intensity values. And in tandem, the three dimmer channels are working together to control a color. So now I'm gonna try to do the same thing. I've unpatched my PAR fixtures. I'm gonna try to do this same kind of action that I'm used to with my dimmer channels and try to do that with my front of house fixtures. So I'm gonna say one through five at full enter. You'll notice they're white, so I need to change the color here. So I might go to my ML controls and slam the red. And I'm like, okay, I love that. So I'm gonna record sub one, just like I did with my dimmer channels. I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna do one through five so that they're selected. Change this to green. Green on stage, I'm gonna record sub two. I'm gonna record blue. Record sub three. So now I think I've done this right, but what I'm about to show you is that there's a lot of background things going on on multi-parameter fixtures that make programming a lot faster that get in the way of trying to make this work. So I might bring up red. So maybe I wanna bring the red down. It looks a little white here. And now green just won. And I'm expecting this to be more yellow because I brought red up a little bit. So the question mark is what is happening. If I bring just the green channel up and I'm gonna select my first channel and look at about, 
you'll see that in about channel, sub two is telling all these parameters what to do. It's telling the intensity to be at full. It's telling the red channel to be at zero. It's telling the lime channel to be at five, and green at 100% and blue at two. So that means that the subs are telling the other parameters on this fixture what to do, and they are in conflict with each other. So if I bring up my red, you'll notice that the green just slammed down to zero. And this sub contains information to tell green what to do. So now I'm gonna try again, and I am going to selectively record content to the subs instead of accidentally capturing the other color parameters. So now that I'm in blind, I'm gonna go to that sub that I want. Now I'm in blind sub one, and I'm gonna specify that sub one is only gonna change the red value of my fixtures one through five. Say so one through five. Then I might expose my CIA red at full. So now in the sub, it's only affecting the red. It's bringing it up to 100% and it's not affecting anything else. Let's see how that looks once I finish through the other subs. Now recorded those values in between those subs. I'm gonna go back to my faders, I'll go to live. I'm gonna load my subs to those faders, sub one, boom, sub two, boom, sub three, boom. And now I'm bringing these up, no output is happening. That's because intensity isn't associated with these fixtures. So I could make that sub for intensity. I could tell them to be at full. So I'll say one through five at full. And maybe I bring some stuff down here, but it's still not working. I can see that the sub is making it to 100%, but it isn't adjusting the value. And that's because EOS will home color values to 100%. And the reason why we do that is so that when we say a channel is at full, it will actually output light. So how do we work around that? Well, we could change the nature of which the fixtures home. And one of the ways that we can do that is to create a home preset. Now a preset is reference data that we can apply to channels and then we can make a home preset refer to that specific preset. So to create that home preset, we would need to give a value to the channels, record it as a preset, and give that preset target to the home preset. So that fixtures home to a different value. So I'll say one through five, color at zero, enter. We're going to see what that did to the data on the fixture. So I'll do one about, and you'll see that the source is manual and we told those color values to be at zero. So we'll say one through five, record preset nine, nine, enter. And then I'll go into my system settings and give home preset preset 99 as a target. So now the fixtures will always home to preset 99. The fixtures color parameters are at zero. I bring the fader up and red is coming up there, but there's still no output. It's because I haven't given them an intensity. Oh my goodness, it's red. Oh my goodness. It's now doing some stuff. So I'm gonna change my layouts a little bit. I'm just gonna break it apart to nine frames here. And the first thing that I wanted to show is direct selects. 
I'm going to add some direct selects here. I'm going to make this bottom one groups, color palettes, and then I'm going to make this one intensity palettes. And then I'm going to adjust my frames here. It's going to add my color picker in one frame as well. So having a bunch of palettes ready to go is a really nice way to quickly organize information and improve my speed in which I'm going to be programming. So I might first record my first group. So I'm going to say one through five record. And I'm just going to click on the direct select to drop that over to there. I can also label the group, group one, label, FOH. And you'll see that that changes that direct select. I can also right click and adjust how many banks are in here. So I might be okay with my five columns, but maybe I only need the three rows. So now when I click on that direct select, it's going to drop group one into my command line and select my front of house fixtures. I can then click around here and adjust some color. And maybe I like this color. I'll say group one record this color palette. And then I'll say color palette one label say light blue. And then I might also give an intensity to that as well. So I might say front of house at 80% record. And then I'll label 80. I'm going to sneak enter. My fixtures go away. And I might do boom, boom, boom. I'm going to grab all my fixtures and create that group. So that's going to be 1 through 5 plus 11 through 15 plus 21 through 25 plus 31 through 35. And then I'm going to record into this group. I'll say group, I'll click on it, label all. I'm then going to update my intensity palette to be that 80%. So I'll grab all my fixtures again. I'll say at 80, now it's super bright, group 11, Record here, confirm, enter. So now if I grab all fixtures and click on 80%, they go at all, sneak again. If I grab just the front of house and say 80%, it only makes those fixtures go to 80%. And this could apply to my color palettes as well. So I'll grab all my fixtures, make it a red. We're going to record, oops. And then I'm gonna label that. Now, if I only select front of house, 80%, light blue, red, they're jumping between those colors. So I've now got a programming wing connected to my session. This is going to be a similar face panel to an Ion XE. And we're going to show you some other functions with that hardware. The level wheel is on all our consoles, including Element and Element 2. So I'm just going to expose the encoder display here so that you can see this change. So first, I'm going to sneak Enter. I'm going to grab my front of house. 
I'm rolling up my level wheel. You'll see the front of house come up and I'm rolling my level wheel down and it goes away. If I grab all, my level wheel affects all the channels and fades it all out. So let's go my back set, 31 through 35. Record label back. 11 through 15. Record this way. Label left. 21 through 25. Record here. Label. So now I can bring up my front of house. Boop. Here, back. Boop. Left, right. Let's adjust our light blue and red by selecting all again. Here's my red. I'm going to record here. I'm going to grab all again. I'm going to put it to my light blue and then record here. So now all my fixtures know what this reference data is. So I'm going to sneak enter. I'm going to grab my front of house, bring that so much. I'm going to tell it to be light blue. I'm going to grab my back. I'm going to make that really bright. We're going to make that red. I'm going to grab my left and right. I'm going to make that light blue, bring that up just slightly. Maybe I want my front of house down. And I'm quickly making looks just by doing the homework on some of that reference data. So now I wanted to show you how to use those presets that we showed earlier. So I'm gonna change this tab to another direct select. And I am going to make that go to presets. I'm gonna grab all my fixtures. I'm gonna say red, bring up my level wheel. I love it. I'm gonna say group 11 record preset one. So now I'm going to sneak them out. And now individual channels can know that intensity value and that red color based on the preset. So maybe I'll grab my back set, tell it to do that preset one, kind of put that into more context. I'll grab all my fixtures, give them a value. Let's make it super light. We'll give it a light blue color. Then we're going to group 11 record preset two. I'm going to take out all my fixtures. Back set, preset two, left, right set, preset one, 